Look at all those trees. Oh, hey, look at it over the hill. But that's a swamp area down in there, and uh, you would be in about a foot of water. Yes, I know the uh, comments about this being Kansas, but not all areas are this bad. There's a few trees over there we could have set up in, but that's actually a drainage ditch, so I'm going to pass on that. And you can see how far these trees are from each other. I'm actually going to use those two trees to set up the hammock. I'll take you in a little bit closer and we'll do the setup. Okay. As I said, we're going to use the, it's called the Equip Travel Hammock. I got this uh, for about $25, if I remember right, at Walmart. That's not too bad of a price. And compacts down really nice. It pulls out. Throw that off that way. As you can see, the cordage goes within a couple feet, probably about three or four feet from that tree there. And the same here, it, it goes right up to the tree. So there would be no way to hang that hammock in this area. Well, we're going to show you a way of doing that. Okay, I have this cordage that I bought from Walmart. It's 25 foot. I should have saved the package. I used it a, uh, several times and I didn't think about saving the uh, wrapper but uh, give you a look at it you can pick that up at Walmart and I think I paid three or four dollars for it pretty stout cordage I haven't found much slippage with it and I'm sorry if uh, it's bouncing around a little bit uh, kind of hard to see the uh, camera with the sunlight that's coming through there but what I do is we take the cordage and we essentially fold it in half. Find your spot where you're going to hang the hammock, wrap it around, and pull it through. Okay. That okay, out then there. we go to the other side. Bring the cordage around. And I like to use what's called a trucker stitch. You just loop it around, come through, and pull up. Now, this knot will pull against itself and tighten up. To undo it, you just pull it out like that. It's called a trucker's hitch. Okay, wrap it around, come through, pull the loop. Okay, I test it. All right, we're going to go back to the other side now. Okay, now, I have the cordage from the hammock, and I have the cordage from the tree. I just put it through, pull it tight, and I know you can't see the hammock at this point, but again, I do a trucker stitch. Okay, little trick, and uh, this trick, I, well actually the knot, I was taught by Justin Wolf, 
But uh, the uh, Outdoorsman's Paradise taught me this trick. Wrap your cordage, and then when it rains, the water will come down. It will find your uh, rope or your uh, hang down pieces, and the water will run down and not as much right down into your hammock. Okay, we're going to move over to the hammock now. Okay, what I have here is an inflatable mattress. Again, from Walmart. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. Very comfortable. I have it folded in half, so that's about half of the width of the mattress. You open it up. There's a little knob there. You just open it. I don't know if you can hear it, it's actually pulling air into itself. It does take a little bit to air up. You can physically blow it up until it's, until it's full capacity and then tighten it down. I'm not going to go to all that extreme today, but uh, I'm going to put it in the hammock. And I haven't shown the full depth of this when I laid in it a minute ago. It's pretty good size. It wraps around you pretty well. But I lay this inside my hammock. And fighting me just a little bit. But anyway. So I lay it in there. And something you want to do when you set this up, you want to try to get it as level. I don't have it exactly level as I should, but uh, it's not bad. A lot of times I put my head a little bit higher. Some like it completely level. Uh, you don't want your head too high because then you end up sliding down to the uh, bottom. Of course, you don't want your head too low, the opposite effect. But, uh, you know, you want to try and get it as level as possible. And, as I said, I, don't, I didn't go through all the trouble of making sure it was exactly level, but you'd want to if you were actually going to sleep in it. But, anyway, I put the inflatable mattress in there. What you can do is open that valve, and you can let it set for a while, and it will inflate itself. I still find you have to blow it up a little bit, uh, add a little air to it. And it gives you about a one inch thickness. It's, it's pretty comfortable. It adds a lot to the hammock. The one thing that I mainly see is it helps with your uh, condensation and stuff like that. You're not laying right on the uh, hammock. It kind of gives you a little bit of barrier. I think it helps with uh, warmth. But then, at this point though, I would uh, go ahead and I, I use my uh, MSS or if you just used a uh, wool sleeping bag or, or a uh, wool blanket whatever you're using, you would then lay it in and crawl in. I've read where they talk about sleeping sideways in a hammock. I'm not sure what that's about really, but I've never done that. Uh, I usually just lay straight on my back. I know some people like to sleep on their stomach or their sides. I've never tried sleeping on my stomach in a hammock. Uh, sides, it takes a little to get used to. You can roll on your side and get comfortable. I find that actually my sleeping bag is more of a uh, barrier to rolling on my side because, I, again, I'm using the MSS. It doesn't give me the room to roll as I would like to. Anyway, I'm going to come around and get in. Well, this is my basic setup. Have it attached to the two trees using some extra cordage to run the distance. The hammock has instructions. I've never read them. Uh, I like the little pouch where you can put items in it, cell phone, glasses, put it on the inside. It has a 300 pound rating. I'm running about 180, you know, I've never had any issue with it. I haven't had too much problem with the slippage of the uh, cordage. It seems to hold up pretty good. Of course it gives a little bit, uh, night, the knot tightening on itself and stuff during the evening. but. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, again, I'm not a big fan of Walmart, but uh, this has sure shocked me. It's, it's a pretty good uh, 
hammock. It's a good cheap way to get into uh, bush crafting. Check it out. Good night. Still here. I'm trying to sleep.